Hello and welcome, this is Ruth and today I have three beautiful new releases from Tonic Studios to share with you. The three gorgeous new die sets, so one is a layering oval set and then we've got sentiments and then entwining ivy. And I want to give you a quick look through the die sets themselves and then I'll get straight into making something with them. This is the biggest set here and it's a long time since I've actually worked with a set which is just as big as that. But there's 13 dies in it, it's called the Intricate Oval Layering Die Set. And if you just flip this over, you can see that the largest die size is 185 millimeters by 235, which is 7.25 inches by 9.25. That's a big, big die. So there it is, and it has a lovely little detail around the edge of it. You can just see there a, a debossing line. So first of all, we're looking at that and thinking, how am I going to get lots and lots of use out of that? Well, first of all, you can make really, really big cards. That would be the most obvious. If you've got somebody really special or you need to make a very special card, there you are. You can fold this over and make a semi-circle, uh, well, a semi-oval card. So you don't necessarily have to have it the full shape. Or you can even have a rectangular card and use half of these ovals on them as well. But I'm going to make a really big one and then use these dies to make the outside edge. And then I'm going to make a smaller card and use some of these as layering dies on top of it. But you can see there are beautiful detailed dies here. Now, these ones don't actually have outside cutting edges on either side of them. So that applies to these three here. And they can cut the detail just into your card. And then obviously you're going to get lots and lots of tiny little pieces that come out of that. And you can use those for paper piecing. I'm just trying to pick one up here to show you. But you're going to have lots and lots of those little pieces of confetti. Now you could use them as I said for paper piecing but you could also keep those and use them for a little shaker element inside the card as well. So that's that. I have an another little idea which I might use it for as well but I want to show you that there are some here that I haven't seen as well. This lovely shaped die here and it also has a little backing plate if you want to use that but I rather like just the sort of delicate feel of it on its own there. And then layering flowers as well so you've got five little flowers that can all be layered up and you can make a lovely little layered one. To add on top of that, which leads me neatly on to the next die set, which is this ivy. Now the ivy is absolutely beautiful. It's really long. There's 11 dies in total, so that's actually more than you can see on the front of it there. So I'll open it out to show you. You've got two really long oval, or sorry, really long ivy pieces here which sort of fit around an oval. I'll show you them on here. That's what they look like on the sides of an oval. And obviously then this is the other side, so you can have this kind of effect. Now, as well as the two larger ones, we've got these smaller ones as well. So we've got little ones that would do for corner pieces, individual ivy leaves, this lovely little uh, spray here, and more little individual ones. So you've got bigger ones and smaller ones. And there's so many ways in which you could use those. Really, really beautiful. In fact, if you keep these together as they are there, you can use them and just cut them in and have that little uh, die cut shape into your card as well. So that's that one and let's move on to this one. So we've got 19 dies here. Uh, so that's actually two, four, six, eight, nine sentiments. So we've got just for you, birthday wishes, good luck, lots of love, someone special, bride and groom, Many thanks, big hugs and deepest sympathy. But the reason why it's a, a, an odd number is there's a backing plate for each of them which gives you two for each apart from this one which actually has... Oh, I'll just show you. I have it cut out. There's three dies there. So you can cut out the large heart which has a lovely sort of scalloped edge on it there. It's quite um, muted scallop. And then the smaller one which is just inside here. And then if you use... The die that you're cutting that with together, with it just for you, you can have this. So this one, just for you, doesn't have an outside cutting edge, but when you use it with one of these, you'll get it cut out like this. So loads and loads of ways to use those. And obviously, I'm going to show you how you can use them together uh, with the other new dies that have come out at the moment, but you really will get loads and loads of use out of these if you're going to use them for different things as well. So keep these handy because that ivy is absolutely fantastic. It looks brilliant in green or 
gold even or whatever and then lots of these flowers that I have made in my last video you can see how the ivy is just a perfect foil to use in behind those maybe on gift tags or on the top of gift boxes or on a card that maybe you're going to use in a box or a hand deliver because that would be quite tall to put on a card that's going in an envelope. Right let's get started. So while I'm assembling all of this don't forget if you haven't already subscribed I'd love you to do that and hit the notification bell and don't forget too that it really helps my channel along if you've enjoyed the video and give it a thumbs up at the end and also leave me a little comment. Really really appreciate everybody who does that. Now this is my large card and I've picked out some coral luster that, that is absolutely gorgeous some champagne gold which is a sort of a silvery gold and then some ivory 300 gsm card for the actual card base and i have used the very big die the outside edge die here that's this plain one to cut out two of these ovals and as you can see i have just come in a little bit down there so if you go to the top edge you can see I've come in three centimetres and I have scored along that fold because I want to use that to connect these two pieces together and then the card will stand up and open up. But you can also see there that where I've scored that at three centimetres in, I've also just gone directly opposite that. So I've lined that up in my guillotine and just taken off a tiny sliver at this end. And if you've seen me show you this before, if you try to get an oval like that standing it's just going to rock about but once you cut off the tiniest sliver you can see that it's going to stand straight. It doesn't have to be big but it does have to be directly parallel to this otherwise your card isn't going to be straight. So here's how I did it. I'll just show you. I've lined this up here and I've just marked exactly where that was parallel across here and taken the sliver off the edge there. Sorry about that noise, that was Nico snorting at the door because he thinks there's something in here that he would like. Really there's not, but that doesn't stop him. Now, we're going to join this together, so I'm just going to put some glue along this edge. So there you are, that's the card base made. And then I've taken the next two dies, so it's the outside edge again, exactly the same size as this. And then this beautiful patterned one just inside that. And I've cut that out with the Coral Luster card. And I'm going to put that directly on there. And that looks really, really beautiful because you can see that lovely ivory through it. Now just make sure that you get that all lined up properly whenever you're gluing it down. And that will look beautiful. You could actually paper piece this, as I said, but I think on the more elegantly coloured cards, paper piecing isn't really suitable. Personally, that's just my, my point. Um, I think it's really, really beautiful on more folk arty kind of things and different colours, but when you're adding gold and things on, I prefer just to keep it the way it is. Now I'm going to add the glue on round here. Next I've used the next inside die so I'll bring them out and show you what I've done. So that's my card as it is at the moment and this piece will stand up. But for the next piece then I wanted to have this one and this one cut together in ivory. But I didn't want to put it just straight on like that. I wanted to have a backing on it so that you could see some gold shining through there. And obviously, as you can see, I didn't want to waste my gold. So I have taken those two dies and cut this out. And then I have taken this die again with the champagne gold and I've cut that out. And then just to get the exact placement for this, I have set, cut that first of all. I've set this inside, I haven't taped it down or anything, but then I put this one inside there, held that down, taped it in place, removed that one, and that meant this one was going to be in exactly the right place, and I cut through it, and that way I'm able to use the little piece that I took out of there to add onto the top 
So now what I need to do is add this on here and then this time I'm going to pop that one up on 3D foam pads and not glue it directly onto here. Now next I've taken the smaller die that I cut the centre out of uh, the, so the goldy silver piece with and I've cut it out in coral luster and I've also used the same die again but with the next inside decorative piece and I'm backing that onto there and that's going to go in the centre there. Now, before I put that on, I've taken the Someone Special from the little Sentiment die set. And you can see there, hopefully you can see it, I've actually die cut that in ivory and then champagne gold and I've layered one on top of the other and just offset it slightly and then glued those both together and then glued them onto the coral luster background. And I'm going to add that on top here, right in the centre there. and then add this on here. Now obviously it's going to be someone special because that's a rather big card and you'll want it either to be someone special or I would think maybe even bride and groom would look lovely on that one as well but that looks absolutely beautiful and you can see how well it stands up there there's not a problem with that at all. So now that's absolutely beautiful just on its own but I wanted to add some ivy I've cut out four pieces here but I think I'm actually only going to use two because I don't want to cover up all of that beautiful delicate detail and all that lovely shine although these are cut in the gold as well but I'm going to add one in there I think and the other one there. In real life that's really really beautiful and glittery. I don't want to add anything else to it at all. I think it's really really nice so hopefully you like that and also I think as I was going through that there I, I was looking at the size of these ovals. They would be absolutely beautiful for scrapbooking. If you've got a big 12 by 12 scrapbook page you could use this as the frame for some papers and then put your photograph inside or even just a great big photograph on it as well there. I think that's another idea for that. But isn't that just lovely? Well, I've made obviously a great big card here and I wanted to show you how you can use those dies for something else as well to make them uh, useful in the smaller size. So this one is landscape and I decided to do one in portrait orientation this time and I've got some of my coral luster card and then I absolutely love this rose gold foiled hearts and I've layered the two of, or going to layer the two of those and pop them on there. I'll just do that first. Now, this time I've gone for the smaller dies in the set and I have die cut the small oval and then I have used the same die with the decorative one inside it and I've cut that out in white and I'm going to layer that on top. And then the pieces that I showed you earlier on, I've got the hearts here. So I have the large one in the coral I've got the next one in white and then I've used the same die for that along with the Just For You and I'm going to layer those up on top and pop that on there. Isn't that really lovely? But I've also got these two pieces and I'm going to add one at the top and one at the bottom there and layer that up as well. I think I'll add a little bit of dimension on this by at least popping one or other thing up, possibly this.
going to leave it like that but I thought I'd like to make something different as well so I'm going to try a little bag with it here. So I have actually taken the same die that I've used for this ivory piece in the centre here and I've used that one along with the inner die that fits it and I've cut that out in coral luster. Now I found this centre of it here and I've marked out one and a half centimetres from either side of that so you can see there there are two score lines on that and that's three centimetres in the middle. So it's the centre there, I found the centre and I marked one and a half centimetres out on either side and scored down that and now we've got this kind of shape so it's flat at the bottom and then has the decorative detail on the sides as well. I've also cut the flat one, this one, in ivory in the 300 GSM card and I've cut that off so that it fits directly in there and then I've cut a little piece to go along here and I've marked that at 12.4 centimetres by 2.8 because that will give you the exact placement to fit in there and it won't fold over and uh, sort of get in the road of the rest of this. So you can see there's a little gap in between the two here. That's really just to make sure that it folds up properly with no bulkiness in it. So I'll go ahead and glue those on. Now, as I said, it's better not to just put this ivory piece on and then try to fold this because it'll be too bulky and these creases won't look right. So just keep it like that and everything will be fine. Now, I've taken another piece of card here. I've got a little score line in it that shouldn't be there, but just ignore that. We'll go with the ones that I've got here because I didn't want to waste my card. Now, so what I've done is this piece is 10 centimetres by... 13.2 and I have measured in from each side on the 13.2 side I've measured in at 2.6 centimeters from each side there and scored that right down and then on this side I have scored in at three and a half centimeters from each side and that leaves this little piece at the middle in the middle so we've got three and a half in here and here and 2.6 in here and here. To join all of this up then all you need to do is pop this one up, fold this over and fold that over and glue those together. And the same here, the middle one up, over and over and you've got yourself a little box for inside. Now I'm just going to glue the base of this in here along there and you can probably see already there that I have punched two little holes in at the top and I'm going to put some of this this is Moonstone Pink Crafters Ribbon I could glue those sides together but I think I'll just leave that open it looks nice whenever you open it up and you can actually move those around a bit so this Moonstone Pink Ribbon it goes absolutely beautiful with that and tie that in a little bow And then I've got a lovely little flower here, and that's made from the little the little uh, dies that were in the large overall layering set. So that's made from those, and I've layered a couple of them up, and that's going to go on the front there. And I've also got some of this ivy. Now I've cut this out in the, the gold again this time, and I want to nip some of this off so I can add it in behind. So I'll just cut that there. That ivy is fantastic for that because there's so many little bits of it you can just snip off and the corresponding one on the other side then just fits in there. Isn't that just a pretty little addition? So we've got the card, the smaller card, the bigger card and then a lovely little bag out of that set. And lots lots more ideas as well and just before I go I have also cut out the ivy in some green card it's actually a satin effect card and put it around a little candle and that was just another little idea for that as well 
So there's loads and loads of things you could be doing with all of these sets and I hope you really enjoy them and come up with lots of ideas of your own. So don't forget in the comments below if you have enjoyed this let me know what you've enjoyed, what you like best, which is your favourite out of all these makes and even what ideas you'd have yourself and what other colour combinations you would use this in. And I've already said, but if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to do that. Loads and loads of people are looking but haven't actually subscribed, so don't forget to do that too. And hit the notification bell and give it a big thumbs up because all of those things help my channel along. Now, my affiliate links to all of these products will be down in the description of the video as usual. And as always, I appreciate everybody who uses those too. Until next time, thank you very much and happy crafting. Bye bye.